Okay, can everybody hear me? <clears throat> All right, let's have a really good day today here today and be focused. So we're, we're really just going to focus here on IBM this morning. It's a long um, and it looks really good. It's the best gap. Fortunately, no shorts here this morning. There wasn't any good bearish shorts yesterday. It's just it is what it is. G may continue lower, <clears throat> but I rated it as a new gap. Right? It doesn't doesn't rate well, and we have to be strict. Um, and it's pretty active yesterday. I think today we just want to focus on one thing, which is what I usually do. Just very excited yesterday about the market, and today we're just going to be very focused. <clears throat> we're going to do IBM, then we're going to get out. Then I'll go over the market. Then we'll go over the stuff for tonight. We're going to get back on track here on a good schedule, and we can look at the options later, but I don't want to get distracted this morning. Um, let's just focus on this. All right. And for those of you that don't know, IBM is a long. And over 167.60 ish. It's going to fly. And we got the market with us today. Market's, market's not lower, which I said yesterday, and despite the fact that we closed red, market's going to get up over that bar, up over the high from yesterday. I don't know if it does it today. May take two days, may take till the end of the week, but it absolutely is going to keep going higher. Tricky, but true. So let's do this. This is going to work. <clears throat> almost at the number I really wanted it to be at. <coughs> there it goes. It's going to go. We don't, we, this is going to go to that number before the open here. There, it's over it. All righty. All right. So IBM, I'm going to be aggressive on this. And give yourself two trades. I really actually don't even think it's going to need it. I'm thinking dollar half for the stop. I don't know if it's going to be right and I won't know until it sets. Good luck everyone. I didn't give it a support. Uh, let's just say 167. I want to give the targets. Let's see. Right, right, right where it's at. <clears throat> right where it's sitting, it's butt. This is not an earnings gap. We'll go over it when we're done. Good volume, though. I think this is on its own, even without the market. Because <coughs> I don't really know if the market has a big day today or a small one. Let's just see. Come on, IBM. Go. I said 170. It may or may be a different number now. Let's not worry about it. Good luck, everyone. And if you're here in a trial, I would just observe because you're not going to understand what I'm doing. <clears throat> wow, look at that, 168. Wow, it's over 168. Look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's look for 170 for the first target in this, wherever it sets up. I was thinking dream target earlier this morning, but not that's a real target now.
great to have a big day today. Let's see. Here, we're opening over 168. Wow. All right. <clears throat> okay. I don't have any numbers yet, so just wait. Stop is going to be one sixty seven seventy five, and I don't have any entry yet. No, wait, that's a diff that's off. Just wait. I didn't call any entry yet. Stop's gonna be different. Wait, 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 hey, hey. Alright. Okay, stop's gonna be 167.20. We're going to do 41 by 20. 41 by 20. Here, take it if you want it. Get in right now if you want it and put the stop in at 20. This is it. This is it. It's going to go. This is a bigger stop than I thought, but it doesn't matter. 167.20 is a stop. Be in if you want it. Well, I'm in it. Did it hit 41? No, it didn't, but I'm still in it anyways. 167.20, and I think that's plenty of room. Be in it if you want it or wait till it hits 41. I said I was going to be aggressive on this. Stop is 167.20. And if you didn't take it, Wait till it hits 168.41. It's going to, though. Here, I thought it was going to pop right over the high. I jumped the gun a little bit there, but that's okay. I like it. If you didn't do it, wait till 41. Stop for everybody, though. If you're in, it has got to be 167.20. It's more than enough room. I thought it was going to fly. Anyways, I'm in this. If you didn't do it, 41 is the entry. Stops 167, 20. I'll call it when it hits. I jumped the gun a little bit, but I, I'm not going to be wrong. So let's just see. And I was prepared to give this two shots today. So let's just see. 160. It basically retested that area this morning that I wanted it to get over. Here, 41. If you didn't do it, 41, here, 41, you can take it. Stop is 167.20. This is going to go. Let's just ride it up, roll the way up to 170. We can do it. Here, it's going to hit. Did it hit yet? Mark it, mark it, mark it. No, it still didn't hit yet. Why is it flirting with that level? 168.40, let's find it. Let's find where that sucker is. And if you're in it already, make sure you get the stop. It still didn't hit over the high. There it is. That's what it is. Right there, I see it. Uh, let's find out what it does here. Okay, if this doesn't hold and it takes me out, I'm going to look for a retake. But I, it, it never hit. It never really triggered. But I jumped the gun on it. And I'm in it. I'm in it and I'm not moving the stop. Stops 167.20 and I'm still in it. I was prepared to give this two trades today. I thought it was just going to kaboom. <laughs> But I see the area there, the resistance it's struggling with, but I believe the gap takes it over it. So if you're in it with me, hang on, have a stop in. If you didn't do it, wait, and I'll give another entry. Or you take it if it hits 41. So here we are. You can do it, you can do it, IBM. All right, let's look at the market. And again, squishy squashy could be an inside day here in the market where it doesn't really do anything, but we're still higher, which again, I don't need the market for IBM. And if I felt like I did, I wouldn't be doing this. It's going to kaboom over that number. So you're either in it or you're waiting for 41. I jumped the gun a little bit. It's fine. Is anyone in it with me or am I the only person in it? Am I the only one that jumped the gun? Oh, 
<laughs> gyro jumped the gun too. It, it didn't it look like I'm, I'm sitting here watching this. When I was watching this bar live, I was like, holy crap, it's going to go right there. I was watching it live and it, and it looked like, here, IBM, 41, stop 20, it's going to work. Whoop, doo -doo -doo -doo. So I, I I was here, it's going to work. Yay, yay, yay. And we don't need the marker for this, or I wouldn't be doing it. Here, 41, you can take it if you're not in, but I'm already in it. Stops 167, 20. I thought I jumped the gun because I thought it was going to just run right up a buck. <laughs> And, you know, here, it's, 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 this is the area here. Let's go over it here. This looks like, oh, look at a beautiful thing. It looks like it just wants to go boom. This is what I saw this morning when I jumped the gun, but here it's back up at it again. Let it ride. Let it run. Let it go. This is good. Here, duh, duh, duh. You can shave some out at 169 if you want to, but I'm going to try to hold it to 170. It's a good solid trade. We need a big day here, people. We need it and we deserve it. All right, let's go look at that. See, that's what it did. That's exactly what it did here. This here, it struggled with for some reason. No, where was it? Hold on. No, there, this was it. Yeah, it was around 168.50, 168.40. It was this resistance back here, but I didn't see that as a problem. It's a gap that's going to take it up. So let's look at this next level. It's 170, 170, 170. Rumi's in it, Pyro's in it, Koala Bear's in it, Big Fudge to G. That's been so crazy to day trade. Here, let's focus on IBM. Come on, come on, come on. Let's look at the market quickly. And again, market's going to hold. I mean, I wouldn't go long the market here, but it's definitely going to hold. What did G do? G did have one quick, quick scalp, although I do think overall G is lower. Where did it go? It had a little tiny move in here, 20 cents. But see, this is so... Uh, in fact, if you did this, I'd be out because this is so herky-jerky. Here we go. IBM. Here, pay attention. If you want to shave some off at 169, that really is the first target. But I feel like 170 is possible today, and it's not a dream number. Let's try to do it. 937. 937. Come on, IBM. 173 would be the dream target today, or even 175. But I think it, to get there, it would really need the market to that crazy number. And I don't know really what the market's going to do here today, although I believe it will hold. I don't know if the market's going to go and have any sizable green bar today. Big fudge is out of the GE. Yeah, I'd be out of it. It'll probably go back. We'll go over the high, flip a run again, drop and break. <clears throat> okay, so 169. Here we go. We're pushing over the number. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Here. Yes. What a great call. Back on track today as focused as ever. Still a little sick though. All right, 169.05. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you could have got out some there. You could have, you could have, you could have. Did anybody get out there at the first target? You could have got out half. Oh, Steve got out of it. Okay. Daniel didn't. If it sets up again, I'll give you another entry. <coughs> here see me 575.60 very good <clears throat> all 
All right, let's check where that 169 is. It's probably going to touch on every single number like this. I mean, here, there it is again. So there you have that. It's going to touch on every single level here. Longs are so much different than shorts, which is obviously why I prefer to short. Um, but there, look at it. There, you definitely really see it there. I don't think that this is a stretch, though. Clearly, a stock is higher here today, and I don't think anyone in the world would short this. So it's one of the reasons I felt very confident in doing IBM, irregardless of the market. So what we're going to do here is wait for it to reset up again. Any push over the high, any flutter over it, I'll just get out. 941, although I really am looking for the 170, but if it flurries, you know, I don't know, somewhere over 169 again, I still want to get out in the morning here. <coughs> I make up words. Big fudge, you know that. I think you've told me that before, but I and I answered the same in the past. 168.50, if you didn't do it and you want to do it, 168.50, stop 167.20. If you did not do it, if you want a second trade, if you get out, there, just hit again. I'm still in the original. And I'm looking for a push over the high. And for those of you in the option letter, I called an option on this this morning. You can check your email. Again, I didn't want to talk too much about that here today, this morning, before we did the day trades. 169.06 is the high. It's going to be sloppy, it looks like, here today. Early, but still sloppy. Weird bar yesterday. Again, we're not lower. So look for slop. Okay, 168.50 hit. I mean, if you wanted to retake a second trade or do an ad, it hit already. Stop is the same for all the calls. Let me just kind of plow over that 168.50 number. <coughs> So anyways, the reason I would prefer to short is because they move faster than longs. But I mean, actually yesterday in, in General Motors, we really missed the first quick move up in that. So we did not miss this here today, but it did hit 169. You could have gotten out. Some people did. I'm still in this to try to get a bigger move today. Although this was a decent move for where I took it with the stop. You can't ask for really more than this in IBM. I thought it was going to be way bigger of a stop than it was. Now we're just gonna have to wait. I don't know if it's gonna take the five minute, the 15 minute, what? So market's trying to hold in here and it's not a short. But I don't know what the bar closes it looks like today, green or red or whatever, but we're gonna hold in this support. We're not gonna go down. So it's this is really tricky. Because I'm sure from yesterday, people really thought the market was gonna fall and even possibly gap down this morning, which it did not. So when the market didn't gap down this morning, I felt very confident we'd hold, and we do. But it's going to be a weird trading day. So here I am. I'm in IBM. Didn't get out of any at all. I hope that was the right thing to do. Um, I really didn't think 170 was a piggy target. I guess I'm going to find out. Stop is 167.20, and don't anybody move it if you're still in it. But longs are so much different than shorts. Fifty-one. 
50, 45. Here's where we have our stop. So tricky. We could have got out and retook it again. I didn't know it was going to pull all the way back down to the low. We could have, we could have, we could have actually doubled it. We could have taken it out and got it back in again, but it's too late now. <laughs> was up a lot in there and didn't get out of any. This better hold. Was I being a pig today? Hold, uh, wanting that to 170? Wait, I mean, was I being a piggy? I didn't think it was being a piggy. Low was 167.50. The stock can definitely move more than $1.50 in a day. 250? I mean, uh, 169.50 even. I did not think it was being a piggy holding that. I'm still in it though. Time of the day is 9.47. Here, I'm gonna look. I didn't see if there's any econ out today. Just hang on one second. I want to see if there's any econ out at 10 that may or may not move the market. Over 168, if you wanted to be aggressive, you could add, we are holding. We just sweated the bullet there. I really should have just got out at 169 because we could have retaken a second trade, but hindsight's 20-20. Um, any economic data today? Today's Wednesday, 10 o'clock. Not that big of a deal. 10, 10.30. All right. Yeah, there is some stuff here at 10 and 10.30. All right, we held. Woo! Do, do, do. Nothing here from the market. Okay, we gotta wait for this bar to close. This is a 15 minute. What I want this to do is hold. I want this to be the low. It's really, it was just a retest. Low in here, the previous low was 167.50. This is, it's the same thing. 167.45. It's the same number. So we went down, retested the low. I didn't know we would do that or would have got out here or retaken it. But anyways, we retested the low. I want this bar to close, though. This bar isn't done. It's got till 10 o'clock. So it's got, you know, 10 more minutes left. <clears throat> but I, I want this bar here on the 15 to hold itself. I don't want to look at anything else right now because I'm not going to do anything else and I'm in this trade and I do think it still works, but I was up a lot in here and didn't take any profit out and I still think that's going to be okay, but I'm wondering if I was being piggish on the target. 
but I know this stock so well, so let's find out. 168, you could take more if you want to. I don't know what it'll do to your price. Everybody probably has a different price in this. Stops the same, 162. I mean, uh, one, one, 162, You know why I think this holds? Because it went over the area that I said this morning. It, it's going to work, but we just sweated a bullet here. It's going to hold because it went over that area this morning. But the, the fast trade was in the first five minutes of the day, and I wanted a bigger target, and it came all the way down and retested it. But it's going to hold because it got over the area that I wanted it to for the stock to fly. And that's why I thought, you know, 170. But, again, it's so hard to figure out the time here when it will go to the number that you want. Timing is critical. So we hit up over 168. This bar didn't close yet, but once it does, we should be fine. But I feel confident because I got over that area. But now I'm in this trade, and I don't know if it goes back up here in an hour, and a half an hour, or what. And that is the bugaboo. Oops, hold on. So here's the spy. Here's the cues holding. And here we are. What did GE do? GE worked once, set up again. Very, very tricky here. This looks like it can go to 17 today. Didn't call any trades in this, but I said I thought it would work, but this is so difficult to day trade anymore. It has small moves and it whips around and it's almost like you can't even look for targets really for one quick move in this um, so many times that set up. But it did have one immediate quick move today. Big Fudge did it. Did anybody else do G? Did anybody do anything else besides this? You didn't really need to. This worked. I just didn't get out yet. All right. So over 168. Once this guy closes, we should be good. It looks good. I just wanted to hurry. Did anybody do anything else? Daniel said no. There really wasn't much today of quality. This was the only quality thing I saw. <laughs> and I really think G is a better, uh, G really has been a good swing trade. As a swing trade, G has been a nice, nice, just super duper ride down. Can barely get a lift. Oh, you did IBM twice? Yeah, if you could have, well, let's go over it. You could have done it here where I called it, got out. Okay. You could have done it again, and then you're just in it waiting. So I didn't get out of any here. I was up a lot. Really good entry in here with the stop. I just felt very certain that it would keep going. And mainly because the low in here, like I said, 167.52, you know. And the area got over this morning, which I wrote down. I said 167.60-ish. Again, these are areas. 167.50, 167.40, same difference. F did not rate good. Did it work? F did work. It didn't rate good. It did have a late setup. Where did this go? Oh, it was only 10 cents. F didn't rate well, which is why I didn't watch it. But it did have a setup. Um, I wouldn't expect a lot out of this here today. It did have one move. If you had done it, I'd really, I would have just gotten out. You would have gotten out for like literally 10 cents. Stop was small. I wouldn't, I, I would... This just really, really, really is 
It was not a good gap, but it worked. Okay, IBM, if you're hanging on here, it's going to work. And I will go over why as soon as we get past this point, which we still have not yet, where I want to make sure that everything's okie dokie, which is back near the high. BAC dropped. Yeah, the market still looks really strong. AAs tonight. I'll look at what other big names are out tonight. We're going to get over that high from yesterday and people shorted it. I just don't know if it's today. And the spread in this keeps changing. So I want to stay with this. I really think it works. I just don't want to get taken out in a tail. I'm thinking about giving this a little bit more room. Question is how much? Because we're not taking it twice now. I said that early in the morning, but not anymore. I'm going to give it 20 more cents. And the reason is I don't want to get taken out in a tail. I do think this works, and I'm staying with the trade. And I obviously believe in the gap. So let's just give it to 167 now. And don't move it if you don't want to, but I really am not doing this twice now. I'm, I'm in the initial trade. I decided to give it a little bit more room. 167, move it to there. We're not doing it twice unless you did this and got out the profit and you did it again. So I gave it a little bit more room simply because it's taking a long time. I don't think it's going to need it, but I just want to be safe. If F is dropping good, I didn't do it, and I didn't call it, and it didn't rate good for my system, but it, it, you know, it had one 10 cent move. If I had done it, I would be out there, though. If I had done F, I, I would have been out. I would have done this and been right out. So it, you know, it was 10, 15 cents in here. So if you did this, I'd be out. If you did it on your own, I'd be out. I said the same thing about GE, which Big Fudge did do it on his own, and he did get out. So if you did this, I'd be out. Somewhere in here, the market's going to hold today. Somewhere, sometime, it might be 10 o'clock. I'm not saying IBM needs that at all, but I'm saying it would help it. If you're going to have any bias today in the market, which I don't know if it does anything at all, the market may be a completely neutral day. Fakes lower, fakes higher, doesn't go anywhere at all. But if you have any bias at all in the market today, it would be long, not short, which is confusing for people. And if we could just get this butt moving here, I could go over it, but I don't want to move off this chart. Man, this is holding itself up really good. So we've been sitting here waiting. It came back, retested the low. Holding, 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 waiting. feel like we've been waiting an hour, but it's really only been 15 minutes. The reason it feels like so long is because I was up so much earlier. Okay, just to review, I moved my stop in this to 167, and that's it. If you have it in 167.20, you're still in it. This bar needs to close at 10. And hold wherever that is. It just touched 26. The spread just was 20 cents there, too. So I think I'm going to add over 168. It wasn't going to do that, but now it's dropped back so much. If this really does hold, I'm going to add over 168, but not until then.
Let's see what this does. So what I want, I want this to hold. The low of this bar is 26. We have data out of 10 and 10.30. Let's see if the market reacts. Not really. Wow, this is gonna hold, but it's very tricky. All right, let's just go over it. We're gonna be okay. I, I gave it a little more room and you didn't even need it. 26 held, and if you have a stop at 20, you're still in it, but I gave it 167. Very tricky. One of the reasons that I prefer to, to short is because you don't have to deal with this but, you know, bottom line is, it was the best gap today, and I did it. And it had the biggest move in the morning, bigger than F, even though it worked, and bigger than GE, even though it worked. Really big move for the stock with the stop. Here, let's watch 168. Actually, 168.10, right in here, you could take more. But anyways, we still do longs occasionally. This did work. I just didn't get out of any in the morning. I think we're gonna be fine. But we have to be patient, and I'm really trying to be. I believe in the gap, and it's, it's gonna work here. If you wanna take more over 168, you can. In fact, I could just put an order to fill me that there. 168, here, let's just do that. If you want to take more at 168, just put the order to fill you at 168 if you want more. Or just watch it. It's up to you. All right. Okay. Let's go over why I like the gap. I feel more relaxed now. But I really wish I would have got out of that early. Uh, but I didn't. Anyways, the bottom line is this was good gap. Rated well per my system, the bullish gap system. Gapped up. And the stock looks higher. And I tell you, the stock has not looked great different times. It has did not have really a great 2017 considering the fact the market was so bullish all year. Last year, the stock was in a downtrend. It isn't anymore. It is not in a downtrend anymore, which says a lot about IBM. The stock is higher. You can see here now how it's lifted. This was in a downtrend last year. Now it's not. Now it's up in an uptrend. And that looks great. Stock looks higher now to me. No one would short this. The problem is that you have day traders that love to play gap fills. So that's why we got the dip. And we got the dip and you have traders that are trying to short this to build a gap in here. I don't think they're going to win because they're not the people controlling the stock. The people that are controlling the stock are the institutions that bought the gap up in the first place. Last night, the stock closed at 163.85, opened this morning at 168, gapped up $5 overnight and it wasn't an earnings gap. In fact, I don't remember the reason. It was something, I want to say upgrade something. I don't know. Gyro right in the room if you remember. Anyways, that's a real gap that was made with institutional money and they're buying it up. It's clear the stock's higher. We don't trade with traders. We trade with institutions. And that's how I read the gap and it rated well. So it's amazing how well this is supporting itself in midair against a market that right now currently is red. Even though it's strong, today we are red. So this is amazing strength in this. I think we go back to the high today. I don't know if we get to 170. How will I know the time it takes for us to get going here again, which we didn't yet, 10.03. So I'm not going to be a pig. I will get out at the high if it doesn't get over it. Should have got out there this morning. Should have, would have, could have. We're going to be all right. And I have an order to take more at 168. And I'm going to get filled here. Let's go. And then I'm going to put the stop back at the same place, 167. <sighs> do, 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 do. <laughs> upgrade. Okay. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. What amazing strength here to hold. We dropped and broke the low twice. Still held. And I'm telling you, that number that I saw helped me stay with it, plus the gap rating. Really, it was the gap rating that helped me stay with the train. Familiar with the stock very well, too. Market read this holding. Um, and that area that it went over, which I'll go over in a minute, if this can just pop over 168. We're going to try to go green today in the market. Crazy. 164.87. Spy is closer. 278.07. 178.87. 178.87. 178.87. 178.87. 
we will be green in the market and we're almost green in the Dow. <laughs> Here, in fact, if you could just do more here if you want on the five minute. If you don't want to wait to 168, you could take it again on the five. Wait for the 15 if you want. And anybody that did shorts would be out of them, which I said earlier anyways. Quickie targets in these shorts. That did go 20 cents. What was the other one? GE still could have more room in it today if you want to play later. But morning trades for shorts, I think, are done. Here we go. IBM. Here. Here. I'm going to get filled at 168. Okay. All right. Get the stop in at 167. Put it in and be done. Let's look at the 30. Wow. All right. All in here now, baby. This looks good, though. And we held. That's it. We're done. And I wanted this bar to hold, and it did. On the 15-minute, this guy here, the secondary one, 9.45. Halo worked. Did you do it? <coughs> Halo did work. God, I would love a good short tomorrow. If we could only get a good short tomorrow. Halo worked. Halo had a decent move in here. Halo had a decent move. I forgot about this one. Dubai, did you do it? Halo worked is still going. Hey, this was this was the best of the ones. Actually, this was the only short that rated good. It rated 20 points. Halo worked. Dubai, did you do it? Halo was the best short today of any of the ones. And here we go in IBM. This still had the biggest fast move. It's just I didn't get out. So now I'm waiting for a push back up to the high. Flurry over it, I'll take it. Otherwise, out at the high. But I can't predict the time that will happen. Let's look at what's out for tonight. Okay, everybody should be back up in this. Um, all right, let's look here. <laughs> Here we go, IBM. Wow. Congratulations to everyone that held through it. And even if you took more like me, conviction, 100% conviction or bust. Uh, let's look at tonight. I would love something easy tomorrow to the downside. Is it possible? Here we go, IBM. Wow. Oh, gosh, it's so hard. I know I know. it's, it's going to get a 170, but I just... I'm not holding this to 2 o'clock to get it to 170 now after that. All right, let's look here at tomorrow or tonight. Tonight for tomorrow, AAKMI. Uh, just a couple. MS tomorrow morning. Okay, tonight's watches. I don't know what these things do. A lot of things out tomorrow morning. <coughs> Just would like something short. Something short with a decent target. F just didn't have a decent target today. Halo had a, Halo had a good move. So I'm surprised no one did it because I did have it in the room. It was the only one that was a bearish cap that rated well. This didn't rate well, but it did have one quick move. This didn't rate well, but really was a continuation gap, had one quick move. What were the other ones that I looked at? That was it, I guess. Yeah, that was it. An IBM. <laughs> Any questions from anyone? We're just waiting it out in IBM and there's not much we can do, but be patient. Market looks like it's gonna try to go green. So again, we don't need that, but it would help the IBM. And Dow is almost over the high. All right, so here's all the targets. I'm gonna write them in the room because they've changed. IBM targets. And this is for today. <coughs> the 
the day trade. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, and here's where the stop is. Does anyone have any questions about anything? Ask me now. Al, no, I am not short IBM. If you signed in late, you missed the trade. I called the long entry here. It went up immediately with profit, came down in hell, and you could have bought it again. Holding, if the stop is 167, then I'm not in a short. I'm long IBM. IBM is a bullish gap, which rated well, and that's why it blew up here. No, it will not fill the gap. And if you trade to fill, do gap fills, it doesn't work. The read here, listen, this is a very good question. Al signed in late. He's here in a trial. Bottom line is, why do you think this happened? This happened because traders think like that. That's exactly why we just sweated a bullet through this. But it's, it held and, and we're higher. So that's exactly why we went through this. Because traders are trying to short it. As you can see here, where's the control? Somebody tell me where's the control. The control is to the upside. Why? Stock closed last night at 163. Gapped up this morning at 168. Came in, broke the low held. The control is not to the downside. Traders that are trying to do gap fills don't control stocks. Institutions control stocks. And they're buying IBM. It is clear as day that the stock is higher now after the gap. I mean, if you weren't certain of it yesterday, which you might have thought it was higher yesterday, you darn well can see right now here today the stock is higher. If the stock's higher, why are you going to short it? If you're an institution, you trade with institutions if you want to make money consistently, not with day traders who look to do gap fills. There's no strategy there. There's no reason that you would ever think at all that this would fall. So the right direction is up. People got out here. I didn't, but some people did, and it had more than a dollar move. You will never be able to make money if you trade gap fills. And if you're, if you're short this here, you're going against what's really happening in the chart. <coughs> and actually, if you were short this, you wouldn't be up any money either. You'd be, if you were short this, you'd be at the same point here waiting. Waiting for it to break and fall and collapse, which it's not going to do. We're waiting for it to rally, which, which it, it's going to do. It already did. And it already is holding. And the gap rated well. But obviously, longs take so long. So we're going to get a lift here in the market. So I felt the market was higher today. We had a sell-off yesterday based on nothing other than profit-taking. Expect a big move over this high. Over the high from yesterday, expect a big move. Will it happen today? I don't know. Will it happen tomorrow or Friday? Probably. So if we go over the high of yesterday's brand new all-time high in the Dow and the SPY and the Qs, we will have a big green day, which I said was going to happen sometime, but it didn't yet. So whenever that day is, I don't know. And it might be over that high, which would be crazy. Absolutely crazy. So all these things are holding, which seems hard to believe, but yet it's true. So it's looking like this is going to be a trade into the afternoon. Does anyone have any questions or anything you want to go over? Um, I don't. I don't really have anything to go over here. I have to stop in in it. I've been patient with it all morning. It's holding. It looks good. Does anybody want me to go over anything, have questions? I don't really have anything else to talk about. We've talked about this all morning. <coughs> uh, put the watches in for tomorrow, or tonight, I mean. But I don't know where they got. I'd like a nice short tomorrow. Easy short, clear short. I'm going to grab uh, some coffee. I'll be right back. If anybody has any questions, put it in the room. Every morning I just look at whatever's gapping. I just put those A, A and KMI because of the fact that they have earnings. 
So here we have 167.26, 167.26. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to even rate those. I'm just saying they were earnings. But they, they're tonight, though. They're not tomorrow morning. Was I being a pig not getting out of that today here? I don't know. I mean, 169 really, where did I write this morning? I did say 169 this morning in the room. Crap. You know why? You know, I, I said 170 then because it ended up opening up so high. Here's what I put in the room in the morning. I did get to be a pig. No, I didn't. I put 168. See, when we went over the 168 and my sheet, I put 169 when I rated it earlier this morning. 167.75, 167, 169.9, I said. So maybe I was being a pig. Because then when we opened so high up, I felt 170. Yeah. For those of you in the option, though, this looks really good. <coughs> Market's going to go green. Wow. Man, people, there's no stop in this market. I said bullish outlook for the market today, but I don't know if we get over yesterday's high, but I know that we're going to fly when we do because people thought this was a top. And again, just like you don't do gap fills, you don't do tops or bottoms. We're going to get over this. And then everything is going to go right around again. And I just don't know if that's today or tomorrow. IBM is certainly giving you plenty of places here to take more in the dips. So here's where we have our stop. Right there. All right, let me grab some coffee. No one's asking any questions. If you think of something, ask me. Otherwise, I don't really have much else to talk about here today. Quiet morning. First trade worked. Big move. Didn't get out. Held, held, held. Still working. But want to see it get going here now, particularly if the market goes green. Want to see it move. Um, but really nice trade for the people that got out of it right away. So maybe I was being a little bit piggy, but hindsight's 2020 now. I'm in the trade. So I'm holding it through. I believe in the gap. I, I don't know. I might be in this all day. And I'm not going to keep the room open all day, and there's nothing really else to talk about. But let me grab some coffee, and I'll be right back. Market's going to go green. That's going to help IBM. Be out of all shorts if we did any. All right, I'll be right back. 